Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about should former professional players become owners of teams they played for. I think personally, obviously, if a former professional player wants to become an owner of a team that they played for, whether or not it's a part owner, majority owner, or even a stakeholder, I think that they should be able to obviously do that if they have enough money and capability to obviously afford to pay to become an owner, whether it's majority, partner, or even a stakeholder. Because obviously that would be a great way to give back to the team that you played for. And obviously not many people can say that they played for a team that then they became an owner after making so much money as a professional athlete and giving back and putting in that money to obviously own a team. Such as great examples of some people that have done that or you at, at least have been in the position to accomplish that would be the Denver Broncos had John Elway who was a former Broncos player quarterback he became the general manager so obviously he didn't become an owner but he obviously had the decision making capabilities to obviously perform at that top level for the Denver Broncos in decision making so I would count obviously John Elway as even though he was a general manager he still went back to his former team to have a high position. Now obviously it would have been cooler if he was a owner because he was a great Denver Broncos quarterback and obviously he would have done a great job as owner of the Denver Broncos but that could always be down later in the future. Yong Min who played for the Chinese Basketball Association Stark, he he obviously became a part owner in the Chinese Basketball Sharks Association where he played a short time there before obviously making it into the NBA. Tony Parker is was the owner of obviously the, the team that he played for before he obviously went into the NBA. He played for the o Oliver in 2011 and became the owner of that team later down in the line and Tony Parker would be a great person to have as an owner. Noel, Noel Ryland, Ry, Ryland who obviously played for the Texas Rangers during his time he is now an owner of the Texas Rangers where he played and obviously you can see that he's doing a great job as being an owner and also being a former player of that team because he has the capability to know what they can obviously accomplish not just on the ownership side but on the side of the baseball diamond. Of course the Mar Marco Lynch who played for the Pittsburgh Penguins, he became a now owner of the Penguins and obviously that's another great example of where players obviously who become owners of that team, they know what that team is capable of doing and what obviously has to be done to run that team such as the, the Pittsburgh Penguins. And obviously who wouldn't want to say, hey, a former Penguins player is my owner and that would be a great obviously start. Another great example is Ron Bridgen Bridgenball who is the owner of the Carolina Hurricanes. He also played for the team of the Carolina Hurricanes. And another one is Wade Dunn who played for the Falcons and he's a owner of a minor, minor stake in the team. 
Obviously, I don't think that, obviously, former players, whether you have a major stake, a minor stake, or just part of a stakeholder in it, I think you should still have, obviously, an opportunity once you retire to, obviously, own a team that you want, whether it's the same team that you played for or, obviously, a different team. Now, I do see other famous players doing s such things as obviously becoming owners of whether it's their former team or their current team but the money has to be right obviously some players that are at the top is lebron james could become an owner or a m minor majority stakeholder or even a stakeholder in the lakers or the cleveland cavaliers or even miami heat where he played other great people could be Ben Rossenborough, who could become a min minority stakeholder in the Pittsburgh Steelers. Peyton Manning, who played for the Denver Broncos and the Indianapolis Colts, could become a minority stakeholder in both teams. And so on and so on for those great legends that obviously have enough money and could obviously one day own part of the team that they played for. Thank you for listening to Brandon Sports Talk, talking about should former professional players become owners of the team they play for. See you in the next episode. Bye!